Hello, my name is Raymond Jubala. I am a junior at Menlo College and I am studying entrepreneurship and innovation. So after my injury, I decided to return to um, education and I got my associate's degree in computer-aided drafting from the College of San Mateo. This mainly stems around the fact that I've been interested in uh, creating things, designing things since as long as I can remember. And because of that, I decided that I needed to find a way, the next step in the process would be to get those products that I've designed or made to the public. And uh, the best way to do that would be with an entrepreneurship um, degree. So I searched around and because of my newness to my injury, I had to stay local. And so I looked around for local schools and I found Menlo College. On campus, I am involved in several clubs and I am grateful to have been selected for the uh, University Innovation Fellows, and I am part of the Menlo College rowing team. I'm also an orientation leader, so if you're coming into Menlo, see you there. As for the clubs, just a little more into that, there are several clubs on campus, and I am a part of the Oaks Innovation Club, the Blockchain Club, and the Non-Traditional Club. the activity of rowing is like the Swiss Army knife of sports because it works most all of your um, major muscle groups. It gives you an aerobic and anaerobic exercise and it is an all-around well-balanced exercise set that um, is really beneficial. Um, in fact, I uh, it turns out I work out muscles that I don't even know I have access to, which is really a magical thing for me. So uh, through rowing, I would say that um, it makes me feel like a part of a team, which I am. It really gives me some motivation to work harder than I would otherwise because I am contributing to something that's more than just myself. Um, it uh, it gives me motivation to do well for myself, for the team, for the school. And um, as one of the first PR1 um, uh, athletes uh, in rowing, I would say that it gives me satisfaction and it gives me uh, the, the drive to continue because of um, I'm blazing a trail for other athletes who may later, may um, later on down the line want to compete. So I've always been interested in making things, creating things. And when I heard that there had been a club that existed at Menlo previously to COVID, and I heard that it went dormant, I had to figure out what it was about and why it disappeared. So upon more research, I found out that it was the Oaks Innovation Club. And I decided that it, just the, the mission statement and everything really um, made sense to me. It's something I'm passionate about. So I decided to follow that up and express my vision of creating a space that was good for makers, innovators, or just for hanging out and coming up with creative ideas. So what I really enjoyed about, as it is uh, revitalizing, is the fact that my vision turned into our vision, which hopefully will turn into a vision for the future that will positively impact Menlo community as a whole. I spent a year on Zoom learning, something that 
many people nowadays are very familiar with. I've also spent one year on campus and I would say that I have so many fond memories um, in both situations, which is actually incredible since how Zoom learning just doesn't usually give positive memories. Um, I'd say it's not really a memory per se, but every day I come on campus, I'm greeted by uh, other students, I'm greeted by professors, I'm greeted by facilities, um, even the construction workers that are working here will, uh, will wave. And it, it's great to be able to um, have that connection with the community. Um, and I think that that will uh, leave memories for me later on down the line when I look back at my college years. So to be part of a community is, is a great thing for me because I'm contributing to the success of uh, the community as a whole, meaning I'm being able to be helpful, uh, assist others, uh, assist myself in the process. And to be part of the Menlo community is incredible because I am able to see people on one side of the campus and the other side of the campus um, and they're all familiar faces because it's such a small um, community. I know everyone, everyone knows me. It's a very close-knit family that a lot of other schools don't offer. Um, through that same thinking of um, a small college, I was at first afraid that I wasn't going to be able to find others who had similar interests to me, but that is far from the truth because I um, was I'm able to throw out an idea and somebody in the next booth over will jump out and say, I'm thinking the same thing. And within the day, you're communicating with them, whether it be to start a club or to um, start a venture. For students who are interested in Menlo, I would say that if you're looking for a small college um, where there's a very strong support network uh, within the faculty, within the students, this is a great, um, a, a great school for you because of, of the support that they give you and um, they have a business school, they have a psychology uh, school, which gives you a diverse student body um, that uh, allows for creative ideas to just flow naturally um, throughout. As for students that are currently attending, congratulations, you made a great decision. But I would say that keep it going because I feel that Menlo is taking you on the right track to find a career right after college so you're not uh, floundering and you'll, you'll know exactly what you're going to do 